Welcome back to the Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. Pete Bursich here, taking you through all of the Minnesota Vikings 2020 draft selections, which brings us to the second choice in the fourth round, defensive tackle James Lynch out of Baylor. Now, Lynch has made a name for himself as a bit of a pass rusher, registering 13 and a half sacks his junior year, 19 and a half tackles for loss. But at six foot four, 289 pounds, I think the Mr. Lynch will see much more inside defensive line play. But let's take a look at his film and see what we like about him. The first thing that stands out about Lynch is, is just his toughness and also it, it just getting after it. You know, he says he likes to be disruptive. On this first play, we'll see against Georgia just bull rushing this tackle right down the center getting him on his heels keeping those long arms going and then eventually gets himself to gets himself to the quarterback so a very strong stout type of a pass rusher but as we'll see in most of these plays he's coming from the outside where you know what he's going to be an interior specialist i think with the minnesota vikings again lynch on the outside this time in a two-point stance don't get used to that son because you're going to be in three the rest of the you know, rest of your career a little speed here, dips and rips that shoulder, keeps the tackle from getting his hands on him and being able to, to slow him down. And he's so stout, the tackle cannot redirect and get on him. And Lynch, able to get the sack from behind. And what I love is the force fumbled. The reach through, club that football out, get it free, and get that turnover for the defense. Another example of Lynch as a defensive end. This time the tackle tries to use more of his body, but again, Lynch keeping him at bay, clubbing dipping and ripping and getting around the edge and getting yet another sack so as a defensive lineman or defensive end in college there's going to be some transmission into this interior of the defensive line but i think he's strong enough and has quick enough arms to do that we're going to see a lot more of this out of him as an interior lineman the whole entire offensive line is blocking down to the right lynch is just Closing that gap, collapsing and chasing, and you'll see he gets his head across the bow and he brings these running back, brings a running back down. When he tackles you, you know, at 6'4, 290, you're not gonna go forward, you're gonna go backward. And teams made the mistake of not wanting to block him and turning them loose, and he absolutely made them pay. Another example of Lynch against the run, standing up as an outside line as an outside linebacker, tackles blocked down. You kind of get that option look. He's not buying it, the quarterback's gonna keep it. He's staying on the running back, and boom! Takes him down another tackle for a loss. And with a guy this big, you surely cannot block him with the tight end. In this case, the tight end blocks down on him. He stays square. He feels that pressure. Rolls himself out. So the spin move, a la Johnny Randall back in the day, gets him into the backfield and sacks the quarterback. This is another great example of speed and leverage coming from the outside, but this is an example of how quit is not in this young man's vocabulary. I mean, the tackle and the guard both get a chance. He uses the hands, he gets around the tackle, doesn't get on the sack right away, but uses really the other offensive lineman as a pick and stays with it. So many times you're not gonna get there in the initial rush, make that quarterback step up, but Lynch has enough power and speed to get around the outside and eventually make the play. So for Lynch, the main challenge for him is going to be getting in a three-point stance, learning all the different blocking schemes from the inside. You know, when you're inside defensive tackle, you've got guards and tackles. They can come at you from both ways. So that's going to be a little bit different for him. But he does show a lot of juice in the pass rush. So he's going to have to learn going north and south is sometimes faster than coming off the edge. 